Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and this is Stitched Up. So it today is Saturday and yeah, I thought I would show you my latest fabric haul. Now, I haven't done one of these videos for quite a while actually and before I start, this is going to be another long video um, and these fabrics I've actually been collecting since Easter time, maybe just before Easter. So please don't think that I've got all these in the last couple of weeks because it's been a little bit longer than that. But yeah, there's quite a few to show you. So uh, before I start, I'm not wearing anything me made today, I'm afraid. I've got this top on from New Look, which says, all's good in the sisterhood, which uh, feels very appropriate. And uh, just some regular uh, navy linen trousers, so nothing exciting today. I just wanted to thank you all first for all the love on my bag that I made at the sewing retreat last weekend. I can't believe this time last week we were all together at the lovely Lyle Coombe. Yeah, having an amazing time and uh, yeah, it's been a real big bump back down to earth being back at work this week, but you know, that's life. Let's get on with it because I'm waffling and it's just going to make this video hours long. So the first couple of fabrics I've got to show you are from pin and sew which is a really really lovely online sewing um, indie shop run by the lovely Ag I think it's Aga, Aga, Aggie, oh gosh I can't remember her name but she's really lovely and um, she does some beautiful jersey fabric she tends to just specialise in jersey fabrics but they are really high quality and I saw this fabric ages ago actually I think the lovely Amanda from I Sew a Lot had made something out of it I can't remember whether it was a dress or a top and um, I did like the fabric but then um, decided that there were more important things that I needed to buy than fabric at that particular time. So I didn't buy any and I waited and then she's got it back in stock so I did buy some. So here it is and it's a lovely navy jersey with these gold pineapples on. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, these are metallic so the pineapples are a gold metallic in like a light gold and it's a lovely sort of t-shirt weight jersey um, and the plan for this is just some simple tops I am in desperate need of sort of nice fitted t-shirts that I can wear with jeans or skirts shorts and um, yeah I, I did sort through all my clothes the other day that was one thing I have done this week since I got back from the retreat and um, I've sorted out, put all my winter clothes away and kept all my summer clothes out because I am anticipating that we are going to have a summer in the UK this year. It has been quite nice this week, but it's a bit cloudier today, but it was perfect for running this morning. Anyway, yes, this is just going to be a simple t-shirt, fitted, I want one fairly fitted, not loose. This one obviously that I'm wearing today is a ready to wear one that's fairly loose, but I want something a little bit more fitted that fits my shape. So um, that's the plan with this. I haven't decided on a pattern as yet. Um, I want probably something a little bit lower neckline than this. This is obviously a high crew neck and I prefer maybe something a bit more scoopy. So if you've got any suggestions, please let me know. So that's my first one from Pin and Sew. I also bought this lovely fabric from there as well. Again, with exactly the same um, thing in mind. So this is a white jersey cotton with little black i think they're black they may be navy blue but they look black to me little dots and dashes on it looks like paint splatters but i, th I just thought that was really nice um so i've got a meter of this as well can't remember exactly the price of it i don't think it was obviously not mega cheap um i think maybe about i don't know 12 pounds a meter something like that but i've only got a meter and i think you know 12 pounds for a nice t-shirt it's not that bad is it so um anyway so yeah, got a metre of that as well. So they were my buys from Pin and Sew. Um, moving on, the next fabric I have to show you is just beautiful and I can't remember where I got it from. I think it's like so amazing, I think, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's a really lovely linen cotton in sort of an, uh, the base is an oatmeal colour and it's got these fabulous coral lobsters on it. If I just bring that in so you can see and hold that still, I'm not sure if you can see that very well because I'm obviously not looking into the camera right at this minute. But this is, yes, it's a linen lobster and the designer, it just says Penelope. If I just show you that on the selvage there, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Um, it's quite drapey 
Um, but when I saw this, I really loved it and I thought it was quite fun for summer. And yeah, you can sort of see the drape there. And I thought this would make something really nice like the Cali shirt. I've made that twice before, but haven't made one yet this year and I quite fancy having a go at that again. And I thought this would be really nice um, in that pattern. So that's my plan for this. I think I've got a metre and a half. Um, looks like I've got a metre and a half of that. None of these fabrics have been washed yet, actually. And that's deliberate because I wanted to show you guys them first. So I can't actually get on with anything. So I've been delaying getting on with sewing so that I can show you guys my fabrics. Um, also from, I think, Like So Amazing, again, she had this lovely, this is the lovely Sarah, had this really lovely chambray cotton in with little tiny Scotty dogs on. I don't know if you can see that. Now, Higgs and Higgs also have this fabric, if you're in the UK, and they have it in different coloured chambrays. So I'm not sure if there's like a grey, base um, there might be a pink one as well but there's different colours and um, Sarah just had this blue one so I got this from her again I've got a metre and a half and again I thought about a Calais for this um, so that's my plan with that one I can't remember the price of it but if, if the if the I'm losing my words I will link to them down below in the description box if I can of where I got them from but if I can find alternative sellers then I will link to those as well if the original sellers have run out, if that makes sense. Uh, yes, also from Sarah at Like So Amazing, you know I'm a bit of a fan of leopard print and she had this really lovely pink, pale pink leopard print jersey in, which again is, it's a t-shirt, it feels like a cotton, a cotton jersey. It's It's got, um, it's not too drapey, so it's got a little bit of structure to it, so it's quite nice, but Obviously it's stretchy, very, very soft, lovely colour. I thought that sort of goes with my complexion quite well. So again, another top that's going to be, um, I think I've got, it looks like I've got about a metre, oh, I'm not sure actually, have I got about a metre and a half? Or a half a metre? I'm not quite sure. I think it's that way up, isn't it? A metre, I've got a metre of it. So um, yeah, this is a poppy fabric. That's what it says on the salvage there. Animal Skin by Poppy. I'm not sure if that's coming up. Here we go. So yeah, I thought that was quite pretty. Again, just to make a simple top to go with jeans, shorts, that kind of thing. Um, moving on, obviously you know that I went to London a couple of weeks ago when I met up with the lovely JJ from Camden Stitch. And we went into Sew Over It, and I did buy some fabric from Sew Over It. Um, and I'll be honest, I am a bit kicking myself now. And the reason why is because I saw this fabric in Sew Over It, and there was two or three fabrics that I really, really liked, and I couldn't decide which one to get. And this is the one that I settled on, and I think it was about £15 a metre. And I think I got three metres of it because I want to make a Sew Over Eve dress. Um, because I love that pattern and I think this will look fabulous in that pattern and then I found another seller online a few days ago because obviously as I've already mentioned I haven't been sewing this week because I've been trying to get my essay done and in between those you know those those if you've ever had to study at university, you get the, and you, you're in the middle of doing an essay and you get those periods where your mind is wandering away from what you're actually supposed to be writing your essay on and you're thinking about, in my case, fabric. So in between sort of having those like little brain um, escapades where I can't concentrate, I've, I've flicked over to a few websites to have a look at fabric. I may have hit the buy it now button as well. And I found a seller called BST Fabrics who are based up in the north somewhere. I think it's around Newcastle area. And when I was just browsing on there, they have this fabric and it's a lot cheaper than so over it, like half the price. I think it's about seven pounds a meter on there and I was gutted. Oh, not because obviously I've paid twice as much for it from so over it, but because I could have bought one of the other fabrics from so over it that they had that I haven't seen anywhere else and could have got this from BST. So anyway, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? But have a look at this. This is beautiful. So if you do like this, this is a viscose, it's gorgeous. It's obviously got leaves on it. Sean, if you're watching this, I'm sure you'll like it. The base on it is navy and then it's got sort of these, I think they're hibiscus flowers or 
something like that from the end lilies but it's beautiful absolutely beautiful gorgeous drape as i said i've got three meters of this that's so going to be an eve dress um yeah it's just gorgeous and uh, yeah if you really like it as i say i paid 15 pounds a meter for this from so over it from the shop but they do have it on bst fabrics i'll link to it down below and i think it's 6.99 a meter so it's quite a good price it's a lovely quality um really really pretty i love this it's gorgeous so yeah so that's the story behind that one so that was the only purchase that i actually bought from so over it um they had some lovely things in there but yeah I, I didn't get anything else but then from there if you remember we went to ray stitch which is just down the same road and um yeah they had some lovely fabrics and um i decided that um you know these nanny iro fabrics the japanese ones there's some gorgeous gorgeous ones but they are very expensive these were 22 pounds a meter which is a lot of money isn't it and um, it is for a fabric that's just something that you're going to wear every day if it's not for like a special occasion but anyway it was a bit of a treat because i'm in london aren't i so i got two meters one meter of this fabric which is this really lovely pale peach um i don't know if you can see the design on there but it's got like well it, i can't i don't know how to describe the design it's got little spots on it and then little stripes but this is a double gauze fabric um, it's really pretty, really summery. Um, it's not a border print or anything like that. I don't know if that's coming across. It's got white lines on it as well as blue. And I just thought that was so lovely. And as I say, I've only got a metre of this, but I'm planning to make a Ogden cami. I haven't made one yet this year. And so I do need to do that because it's one of my favourite patterns. So I thought this a metre of this would make a lovely Ogden cami, maybe to go with white shorts um, for summer and um so that's that one and then i also got another fabric from ray stitch which again i think actually it's not a double gauze this i'm not quite sure whether it's a cotton lawn i think it's a cotton lawn um but it's this lovely green with it's got like a metallic silver print in there is that coming up on screen i hope you can see that um, again it's quite subtle but again this is just going to be another Ogden I just thought it was a really lovely fabric um, and uh, yeah the design is paint by Ellen Baker I don't know if, if that's going to come up so you can see that but again if I can find it I don't know if they have it on the website on Ray Stitch but if I can find it I will link to it down below for you so you can have a look but that's really pretty um, I love that one. So they were my fabric purchases from um, London. And if you remember at Easter time, Sherwood Fabrics had one of their infamous discounts that they tend to have every other weekend. And it was 25% off everything, um, no minimum spend, which was amazing. So I did buy three more Lady McElroy fabrics. And um, yeah, the first one I got is this one, which I thought this one is a it's a viscose fabric and it's diff a different Lady McElroy to what I've had before. This is more of a geometric print. If you can hear that, that's just my son in the kitchen probably feeding himself again. Are you getting, are you getting some dinner? Oh, he's ignoring me because he's got his headphones on. Anyway, I quite liked this. I thought this was a nice sort of rainbow design quite geometric quite 80s but I thought it would make a really nice maxi skirt and I'm thinking the Nina Lee Q dress but cut off as a skirt I know um show was it Shona from Sewis Faction did a hack of that herself um and uh, yeah I quite fancy the sort of button up not straight skirt but gently flaring skirt so I'm thinking that would look nice in that with a simple t-shirt so that's my plan for that one I also got this one which many of you will have seen before and it's the really lovely damsel fly print um, the Lady McElroy damsel fly this is a cotton Marley lawn and I got the ebony version which is the black base I think it also comes in a cream base or a white base not sh I'm not sure whether it's cream or white but I got the the dark the black one and it's lovely um, I think I've got three meters of this again I don't know what I'm going to do with this as yet. It will probably end up in my stash for a while. Um, but yeah, shirt dress, 
something like that um, along those lines but I've wanted this particular fabric for a while so decided to take advantage of the discount and get it so that's that one and then the final one I got is the Jungle Tropics and I bought it in the um, cotton lawn base again so this is so pretty um, yeah full of leaves really pretty again I've got three meters of this to do it they do do it in different bases and I'm thinking I know Sean has had this herself and she's made various things out of it and she's got it in different bases and I do think in this sort of canvas space it will make a really nice bag so I may get some more of this at some point but it's really really nice really nice and summery um so yeah so they were my purchases from Sherwoods at Easter moving on the next fabric that I have to show you is from Higgs and Higgs. Now I've not bought from Higgs and Higgs before. Um, I may have bought the old thing from eBay which is a, a buy them but I went on their actual website the, um, at the end last weekend I think it was when I got back from um, from the Isle of Wight and yeah I the thing that attracted me to their site to start with was this gorgeous gorgeous double gauze and it's in this lovely coral with gold spots on now they have can you see how beautiful that is now they have this in lots of different color fabrics so there there's all sorts of different colors and it wasn't that expensive um, I can't remember exactly how much it was, it was something like £10 a metre, which I didn't think was bad to be honest, but it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I got a metre and a half of this, I think, and my plan is to make a Stylark, is it Stylark? No, it's not a Stylark, I can't remember whether it's Stylark or whether it's Tasuti. there's a shirt that I bought, I think it's, is it the Hillary or the Audrey? I will put a little picture of it up here so you can see which one I'm talking about. But yeah, my plan is to make that out of this to wear with um, white linen trousers or white shorts. I just think it's gorgeous, but it's so pretty. And as I say, they do it in lots of different colourways as well. So I may have to get some more of this. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And coral is a real, it's really sort of, um, it's sort of in this summer, isn't it? It's a big a big colour this year um, and I've been looking at different coral fabrics um, and yeah this is just lovely I love it so that's the first one that I got from Higgs and Higgs the second one I got is very similar to the white one that I showed you earlier that I got from Pin and Sew and um, they've got the same fabrics in Higgs and Higgs and I got this one which is the black base with white dashes um, splashes on whatever you want to call it so um, yeah this was £10 a metre from there they still got it I'll link to it below and this weekend Higgs and Higgs have 15% off everything as well in case you're interested um, so yeah I got a metre of this again with the plan to just make a simple t-shirt and uh, yeah that's really nice but then the other one that I saw on there and this was what really attracted me to buy from them was this amazing amazing leopard print jersey look at this how awesome is that it's this huge huge leopard print on sort of like an olive background um this is a jersey fabric i've got two two or two and a half meters i think of this fairly reasonable in price i think it's about 10 pounds a meter and my plan with this is just to make a very simple t-shirt dress there is one that i made last year um, from a McCall's pattern. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but if I can find it, I'll put it up there so you can have a look. But you know, there's loads of t-shirt dresses out there that uh, that you could use, loads of t-shirt dress patterns, um, or you could just lengthen a t-shirt pattern that you've already got. Um, but yeah, I really love this. I think it's I think it's just amazing. It's so striking. And yeah, I fancy sort of, not midi length, but just below the knee, or maybe just a little bit longer than below the knee. I think that will look fabulous. So that's, that's my purchases from Higgs and Higgs. Um, the, you might have seen this fabric before, actually it's been doing the rounds recently and they do it in two colourways. This is the swimmers fabric. If I bring that in you can see that. Now this is like a seersucker cotton and it's, you can get it in a blue as I've got here or you can also get it in pink. 
and I think the lovely Harriet at So Me Sunshine had it and I think she's got it back in unless she's sold out because it does tend to sell out very very quickly but I also found it on Ditto Fabrics and if they've still got it I'll link to it down below and it was really reasonable on there I think it was about £10 a metre um, so I got how much did I get two metres did I get two metres or a metre and a half I'm not sure whether it's a metre and a half or two metres, I think it's two metres, but yeah, I, I just think it's such a fun print. haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this yet. I did initially think a skirt, but not quite sure as yet, so it might just end up in my stash for a little while. So that's that one that I bought from Ditto Fabrics. It's the first time I've bought from them as well, and they're really reasonably priced, so if you haven't, you know, had a look at them, then go check them out. Now, I mentioned BST fabrics to you earlier, didn't I? And I have actually ooh, bought a couple of fabrics from them because when I found that viscose fabric on there, I thought, you know, I've got to buy something, haven't I? So I got some beautiful fabric from them and they are really reasonably priced. So I would go check them out. Very, very quick delivery. Um, I'm saying quick delivery. It was dispatched for delivery the next day after I'd ordered it. Um, but DPD, who is a courier company in the UK that BST had obviously contracted to deliver my parcel, I don't know if they use them for everybody, um, they um, didn't deliver my package and I was in watching out of the window waiting for this package to arrive and they have an online tracker which is fantastic because it tells you how many minutes away from your house they are and I kept refreshing that page and then when I refreshed it again it said sorry you weren't in. I was in and nobody actually came to the house so I was not very happy um, but anyway that's not BST's fault at all it's definitely the courier's fault but it so I had to rearrange delivery and it came yesterday so the first thing I got was this lovely lovely viscose um, you may have seen a similar fabric to this before because I've also got it in a blue colorway and um, this was £3.50 a meter from BST fabrics, really, really cheap. And I have seen, I think Fabric Godmothers had this for about eight pounds a meter, and a couple of other places have had it as well, but BST have got it at the minute, and it is really reasonable on their site. So yeah, it's got cherry blossoms on it. I think I got three meters of it. Um, you know, with it being that price, I definitely got, um, thought I would just up the meterage slightly. So yes, I've got three meters of this. Again, this is gonna be something like a, an Eve dress or, yeah, some kind of dress it has to be with the amount that I've got and how pretty it is. Um, it's so soft, it's beautiful, really drapey. And the other one that I got from BST is they have some 100% silk linens in. Yes, you heard that right. And um, they don't have a massive range of colours, but they are eight pounds something a metre. And I really fell in love with this colour. And this is like a salmon pink. I just bring that in and you can have a look. It's got the most amazing, amazing texture. This is 100% silk and um, it's just beautiful. I love it. It's got lots of slubs in it as well, so it's really nice. It's got some great structure. I don't know if you can see how that's behaving there. And this week, Athena Kaku, who owns, she's got a blog, she's got a channel on YouTube. She owns AK Patterns. I'm sure you've all heard of her. I've never actually been taken with any of her patterns so far, but she's just released a skirt pattern called the Adriana. And it's really quite interesting because it's got pleats just on one side. There's two versions that you can make. One that's got a paper bag waist. Well, I don't know if it's a paper bag waist as such, but it's a higher waist with like a band across. And I really like it because it's different to anything that I've seen before. So I've bought that. I think she's got 10% off at the minute for the first week of release. So I'll leave a link so you can go check that out. But I think this, this fabric will be perfect for that. Um, yeah, so that's my plan with this, but I need to wash it first. And I'm a little bit worried about how to wash this because the only thing I would say is I haven't received any washing instructions with this or how I care for it. Not sure if it's on the fabric page on the website. I'd have to go back and have a look. But I think if I wash it, I want to be able to wash it in my sewing machine. Um, because you know it's something that I'm going to be wearing regularly and I don't want to be having to take my garments to a dry cleaners so I think if I wash it on a cool wash it might be okay so I'm going to try that this afternoon I'll let you know how that goes but yeah that's just beautiful so yeah eight pounds for silk 100% silk 
that's amazing. Right, moving on. If you remember from my last vlog, I did mention that I want, I was really getting into bag making now. I've got the bug and I want to do more. And now I've finished my essays, the first thing actually I'm gonna do is I've got a couple of NCWs cut out. That's necessary clutch wallets for those of you that don't know. Um, I have made one before, I've made a flamingo one. I'll put a picture of it here if you want to have a look at it. And um, yeah, I followed Sean's tutorial. She's got a video tutorial on her channel that's great. Um, it's really, it takes you through step by step. And um, yeah, I've got a couple cut out at the minute and partly made, but I need to finish them off. And I'm really ashamed to say that I've had them in my whip pile for about a year now. And one of them was supposed to be a present for my sister-in-law for her birthday last September. And here we are in May and I still haven't completed it. So I need to get on with that. But um, without going off track, I have bought some more fabrics to look at making another bag. And I want to make another Celine bag like the one I showed you in my last video that I made down um, at the retreat. I've now bought a Teflon foot for my faff machine so hopefully I can practice a little bit more with the vinyl to make sure it doesn't sort of skip the stitches and whatnot and hopefully that will work better but I just want to yeah I want to have another go at that and I saw this fabric on eBay the other night and it's just beautiful. This is a Robert Kaufman print um, I haven't been able to find it because it's sold out unfortunately on eBay so I'm glad I got this meter when I did. I haven't been able to find the exact same print but there are um, other prints of this fabric in the same range if that makes sense it does a panel and there's one that's slightly different but it, you can tell it's the, the, it blends with it it's the same but this is a geisha print oh, how gorgeous is that it's just beautiful it's got metallic in there it's got obviously those gorgeous japanese ladies if i just turn it around that's the other side so this is going to be the main fabric of the bag and then Tanya Fabric, who is a lovely seller on, she has a Facebook group and she's also got a website and she sells lots of bag making bits and pieces, at really reasonable prices, including fabrics, hardware, leatherettes, cork, all that kind of stuff, if you're interested. I'll leave a link to her. Um, she was selling these blender fabrics, so I bought a metre of this, so I thought they will go quite well together. So this is going to be the inside of the bag. And then for the contrast vinyl, what I also got from Tanya was some white leather. Well, it's leather, it's not leather. Um, so I thought those together, I don't know if you can see that very well. I think those together will look really nice. So this is going to be another Celine. And I'm really excited to have a go. It's so exciting. So yes, um, that's my plan. To make another Celine. Okay, moving on. Um, we're nearly there. I'm not going to keep you much longer, honestly. When I was down at the retreat, and there is a little bit of footage of it in my vlog, if you want to go back and have a look if you've not seen it, or if you couldn't get to get to the end, but there is a little bit of, bit of footage of Sean wearing the most amazing um, dressing gown. And the, the pattern, I think she said, was a vintage pattern. And the fabric was a cotton silk fabric that she got from Spoonflower. Now, unfortunately, they don't do that base cloth anymore. Okay, I'm back. My um, camera stopped recording there. So hopefully, I'm not quite sure actually at the minute where it stopped recording, but hopefully you heard me talking about this vintage sewing pattern for a dressing gown that I have found on Etsy. And um, yeah, I'm waiting for that to be delivered. It's a butterick pattern, I think, from the I don't know if it was from the 50s or the 70s, can't remember to be honest, but I'm waiting for that to come. Um, but I got this fabric from, I think it's oh so crafty on eBay. And this isn't silk, it's a polyester satin, but it's nice and it's, look at this, it's just beautiful. It's in like a, an indigo blue. It's coming up a bit darker on screen, the blue, than it actually is in real life. It looks more navy on screen, but it's not. It's more of a, a sort of royally indigo blue. And then it's got these gorgeous tropical leaves on it. And I've got three and a half metres of this, because that pattern that, um, that I'm waiting to arrive says it takes that. And it's going to be like a floor-length dressing gown. Um, now, Sean lined hers in fleece, which gave it a lot of body and a lot of structure, which I thought was just great. And obviously, 
really warm as well. So I think I'm going to do something very similar. I don't know what I've got in my stash that's appropriate at the minute. I might have some fleece, but I may have to buy some. I think the fleece I've got might be a little bit too thick. Um, and obviously I don't want to lose the drape of the of this fabric and the actual style of the dressing gown. So I need to think about that a little bit more. But I've got three and a half metres of this to have a go at making my own version of a lovely dressing gown inspired by the lovely Shan. So thank you for that inspiration, Shan. Um, and uh, yes, that needs to be washed as well. So finally, I've just got a few fabrics to show you from Colville. Um, now, the first one that I'm gonna show you is a really lovely pink. It's like a linen cotton. Um, and I got this, I think this was five pounds a meter and I got a couple of meters of it. And my plan is, for those of you at the retreat and those of you that weren't at the retreat, but know that I've said this so many times now that I'm going to do a tutorial for the wide leg pants from In The Fold, In The Folds patterns. Um, I have got their permission to do it by the way. I've been waiting to find the right fabric and I just think this will be perfect. So this is obviously a nice hot pink which will be perfect for summer and it's going to be light enough so that you'll be able to see all the details. So this is what I'm going to do with this fabric. As I say I've got two meters of it and the plan with this is to make another pair of those wide leg culottes um, from In The Folds that you can get on Peppermint Magazine's website. I'll link to it down below. And I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make those using this. So that's the plan for that that I got from Colville. It's really nice fabric that actually. I also got in one of their infamous Sunday sales, this really lovely, um, it's like a, well, I'm not sure what it is actually. When I say mesh, mesh sounds horrible, but this is, this is actually really nice and soft. It's a lovely pink with flowers on. Um, and I thought a nice sort of full skirt, this is me that doesn't wear full skirts, but this is what's in my head at the minute, over sort of like a cream. I mean, if you look at it over my white top, oh, it's a bit harsh over white, but I think over a cream or even a pink, if I could get a similar pink color to this would look so pretty. I got three meters of this and it was five pounds for three meters. I don't know if he's got any more because you've got to get it while he's got it, haven't you? But um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this. It's really soft. I don't know if you can see the texture if I bring that in there. I need to move my head out of the way because it's going to still want to focus on me with it being um, transparent, but it's really nice. It's lovely. Um, the, um, the flowers on it are not raised, so it's not like they're printed on. They are actually woven into the fabric. So it's, it is really, really nice and soft, it's lovely. So I'm really happy with that. Um, one not so good purchase from Colville is he recently advertised some fabric on his, um, on his Facebook page called Airflow Linen. Now, to be fair to Mac, he did also show the fabric on the roll with the label which says Airflow Linen. And I was thinking, Airflow Linen? What's Airflow Linen? And when I Googled it, it says that it's linen mixed with modal. Now, modal is an expensive fabric, as many of you will know. And I did think that, I couldn't believe, for the price that Mark was selling this at, that it was gonna be mixed with modal. I thought it's more likely to be a polyester blend and um, he was selling it on his Sunday sale a couple of weeks ago. So you could see more of the drape and everything. And it certainly looked not 100% linen. So I thought, you know what, I'll take a punt and I'll get three metres and it was nine pound. Now the colour of this is beautiful. It's a blush pink. Let me show you. So this is it here and it's a really lovely blush pink and it has got a linen sort of print. When I say print, it looks, it does look linen-y. Um, as in you've got the cross weave that you get with linen, but it's clearly polyester. Um, it's not linen um, and there's no modal in this at all. It's very, it does feel very polyester-y and um, it's also quite, quite see-through as well. If I open it out, I don't know. I mean, there's, I suppose you can't really tell there, but um, I think originally I, when I've got it against my navy trousers, you can really see through it. Now, my original plan for this was going to be a pair of trousers, but I don't think it's I don't think it's thick enough to make trousers. So I was a bit disappointed in this. What I was more disappointed in, and I real and this is one thing I am going to say, um, was the fact that there was somebody discussing it on the Facebook group 
and um, another another lady mentioned that she was disappointed with the fabric because she felt it was very thin and not what she was expecting. Um, and I mentioned that it wasn't linen. Um, you know, it'd been obviously advertised as linen and it's not. Um, and my our posts both got removed from that group and that upset me, I'll be honest, because I haven't made a derogatory comment or anything, I've just made a statement of fact that this is not 100% linen. Um, and, you know, it's still a nice fabric um, and probably worth what I paid for it, but it's definitely not linen and I just didn't want people thinking that it was and obviously spending money. Um, you know, I don't blame Mark, he's only advertised, as I say, I saw the label on it and Mark advertised it as to what the label was, but, um, and I do believe that following my post he has changed, he has changed that now, so that's fine, um, but I was more upset that um, I was accused of making complaints um, and they don't like complaints on the page and I just think, you know, come on guys, you're running a business here, not everything is always going to be positive and um, you need to accept the, um, the negative and the positive and just, you know, make sure it's, everybody's being open and transparent and it just feels a bit that on the group at the minute, you know, the only time your posts will actually stay on the group is if you're, if, if you're being incredibly positive about everything all the time and that's not realistic is it, I don't like that, so that's, that's upset me a little bit this week, but as I say, I'll get over it and it wasn't expensive fabric, it's still nice fabric, don't really know what I'm going to do with it because what I'd originally planned obviously now I'm not going to be able to do, so, um, but you know, it may be it may be useful for tiles, I'll see. Um, the last fabric that I got from Colville, which I love, is this scuba fabric. I've been asking Mark for ages to get some, um, try and get some fabric with parrots on. And he's come good, I'll be honest. And this is a scuba, um, it's just wild, look at it. It's got all sorts on here. Let me just, oh, stand up. So we've got big sort of banana leaves, we've got seahorses, I don't know what re relation to tropics seahorses have but we've got the parrots there's the parrot and yeah it's very bright it's very funky and you might have seen a few people in this the lovely Alex from Gingerhead and Co has just made an amazing dress out of this I'll put a picture of it up here actually and she's made it for her sister which is just amazing Alex make me a dress will you because I haven't got time to sew um but yeah it's fantastic and uh, yeah, I love this, it's just amazing. But it's scuba and this is such a summer print. And I don't, I always worry about wearing scuba in summer because I think it can be quite hot. But then again, I'm always cold, so maybe that's not a bad thing for me. But yeah, I've got three meters of this. This was 10 pounds, bargain. Um, got a decent stretch to it. And it's got hummingbirds on as well. I've just seen a hummingbird, where is it? I don't know if you can see the hummingbird. Can you see the hummingbird there? So yeah, lovely, lovely fabric. Um, phew, that's it. So, um, there's quite a lot to be getting on with and now that I've shown you all, I can get them all in the wash and get them um, pre-washed, which I do with all my fabrics. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So lots to be getting on with and um, I don't know where I'm gonna put all these because there certainly isn't room in my sewing room at the minute and so I'm gonna have to sort that out. And uh, yeah, I've got, loads of ideas for videos coming up. I have made a fabulous little black dress which is a McCall's pattern which includes all the fit adjustments that I needed to make. It's very fitted at the top, it's got a bit of a sweetheart neckline, it's beautiful, I love it. And I want to do a vlog dedicated to that to show you, and obviously it's finished now, but I was going to talk you through some of the changes that I had to make um, and explain how I did that. So that one is coming up soon because I've been sewing five years now and I have never made a little black dress which is such a staple in every woman's wardrobe isn't it? So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. I have also made my first version of the Joni jumpsuit by Friday Pattern Company as well. I did leave a sneaky peek of that on Instagram a couple of weeks back and I haven't had time to vlog it yet but I really want to show you that because it's awesome um, and I've got that gorgeous green modal jersey that I got from System in Tyco where I want to make the um, another version of that. So I need to vlog about that as well. So hopefully they're going to be coming up really soon. So please, please stay tuned. If you haven't yet, 
subscribe to my channel then please do um, if you want to leave me a comment down below please do as well I love reading through everybody's comments I don't always get the opportunity to reply to everybody as much as I can I will so please if you don't get a reply please don't be offended um, it's just really hard when you get loads of comments I like I said this to um, one of the lovely ladies on the retreat last week I said just think about it. I said some of my vlogs get 140 comments I said imagine if you got 140 text messages from one from some a few people well it'd be more than a few people but if you got 140 text messages within a day how you would manage in you know in, in conjunction with working studying running a household and and everything how you'd manage to reply to all those it's really really hard so please please bear with me um, I do appreciate you all taking the time to comment it really does mean a lot so so please continue to just engage um, and yeah I will hopefully be back with you super soon so whatever you're doing take care and I'll see you soon bye bye